All right, all you white people out there who say this is your land, you discovered it. You didn't discover shit. You stole. And America isn't the only country you did it to. You did it to Australia. You did it to Africa. You can't discover a land people are already on. You want to discover a land? Go up to the fucking North Pole. Start digging and find the land up there. Because there isn't any people living up there. Okay? Stop saying you discovered America. You stole America from the Native American brown-skinned people who were here first. That's what you did. You discovered shit. And then you needed those brown-skinned people to teach you how to survive on this land. And as good people as they were, instead of kicking your ass off and killing you off, they taught you how to survive. And the thanks that you gave them was to start killing them off. But hey, my ancestors were stronger than you thought, huh? You started killing them off, and they just bounced back. And then you bring a bunch of black people here as property. Now, I have nothing wrong with black people. I have nothing wrong with white people who want equality. But I have plenty wrong with you white people out there who sit there and say, This is your land. It's not your land, and it never was your land. A man who comes in and kills your family and robs you of your home no more owns your home than you own my ancestors' land. Your squatters. And I welcome all people. I don't care what color you are. If you're willing to live on this land, acknowledge that this land was not white people's land to start and treat all with equality. I have no problem with you. Stay on the land. Enjoy the bounties of it. Love each other. Share what you have. Have some compassion. But if you want to be a white supremacist out there, you want to be a white nationalist, you want to run, run around calling this land, my ancestors' land, your land only, then take your fucking ass, pack it up, and go back to the country where you're bigoted, hateful ancestors came from. Because we don't want you here. And I don't know if you're noticing anything with these protests. There's far more of us of all colors who are against you bigots than there are of you. So you better watch your back. Because there will come a day that there, that the white people who have been holding back because their minority friends want them to, and the native people who have been holding back because they've been told to, and the African American people who have been holding back in the hopes of a better way, one day, our muscles are going to be taken off. And we won't hold back anymore. You better start getting scared. Because we're starting to get real sick of your crap. We've been sick of it. But we're getting to a point of sickness that it's not even funny. And every time you go out there 
and you murder somebody, and you start hollering your white privilege, and all your other crap, the only thing you're doing is recruiting more people to the side of right. So watch it. You will force what comes. We won't want to do it. That's why we've been holding back so long. We don't want to be like you. But keep it up and force it. And you will find the wrath of God coming down on you like you never, ever could have ever imagined. Because at some point in time, we're not going to ask for equality. We're not going to protest for equality for all. We are not going to go to the street holding signs for equality. At some point in time, we are going to strongly, without question, demand equality. In a way that you will never be able to say no to. And you will have a choice at that point in time. Either join the group. Or get the fuck out. Because we don't need you. And as you have tried in the past to kill us all off. You'll never kill us all off. Because we exist here. When you kill one of us, another will rise. Another two, another three will rise. Think your actions are getting rid of us? It's multiplying us. So keep it up and watch your backs. Because the day will come.